Hi, Nicola Askham here, back for the next in the series of Ask the Data Governance Coach video series. So, today's question is one I have been asked many times the last few weeks, so I thought I really needed to address it on one of these videos. So the question is, where does data governance fit in the three lines of defence model? Now, you might be wondering to yourself, what's the three lines of defence model? So let's have a quick run through that. Now, it's something that is commonly found in financial services companies, but I have seen it elsewhere. Um, it's typically just made up of exactly three lines of business. So if you think of the first line of defense is considered the business, the people that do whatever your organization does, whether that's making things, selling things or you know, running a bank or an insurance company. So they're the people doing whatever your company does. The second line are the teams that tend to set the rules by which the first line run the business. So these are people like your legal team, your compliance team. They're the people who are interpreting external regulation and working out how, what your company has to do in order to comply with them. And these teams will also include like operational risk. Now, the third line of defense is where you have your audit, whether that's internal or external audit, who actually audit that the first line are running the business and doing their jobs in accordance with the rules or policies set by the second line. So hopefully that's cleared that one up. So now on to the most important question is, where does data governance fit in all of that? Now that's a really interesting question and I'm not sure that it is a nicely fit with this. But since I have done a lot of work in financial services over the years, this is something that I've had to figure out on a number of occasions. So I think it's fair to say that more often than not, data governance ends up in the second line of defence, often sitting alongside an operational risk team. Now, it works pretty well there, as long as you remember that a data governance team doesn't write the rules and toss them over to the business to comply with. A data governance team is very much supporting um, the first line to write their own data rules. And so very much a data governance team isn't writing the rules and giving them to people to comply. They're helping the first line write their own rules. So subtly different. And I have worked for a couple of organizations that have described that as perhaps the one and a half rather than data governance sitting purely in the second line or purely in the first line. And the other way of thinking about it, I was discussing this with a, an operational risk director at one of my clients fairly recently, and he said he felt very much that perhaps there was a 1A and a 1B in the first line of defense, whereby 1A are back to the people I said are the people doing the work, and 1B are perhaps the data governance team, because they don't set the rules. So perhaps it should be considered that the data governance team are sitting in the business, helping the business run better, but perhaps they're considered a 1B because they're one step back from doing the business itself, but they're just helping the business run better by helping people manage their data better. So I hope that helps. And don't forget, if you have any questions you want me to address in this series, just email them in to questions at nicolaaskham.com.